Hello, hello, hello. We did it. It's back. We're here. It's time to go. We're ready. We're all around. We're downtown. Rolo Tony Brown. We're back for the first time ever. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're was, back. That was Ludacris' uh, first album, Back for the First Time. Uh, great album. Uh, if you, if, if, if all my Luda heads out there. Tons of Luda heads. We are Krillin' It Super. So excited to be here. I'm Danny Fernandez. I'm Ify Wadiway. And today we have a very special guest joining us to go over the first episode of Dragon Ball Super, Mr. Kyle A. Bear. Thank you for What's up? Here. Thank you. Thanks you for having me. You guys know him as the voice of Gohan. Also, a bill, you actually, I think you contractually are in every single anime that's ever been released. Yeah. It seems like it. Every time Toonami's on, it's like the Kyle A. Bear show. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like main characters. I'm usually like man A, man B. It's like, that sounds like Kyle. Like, yeah, yeah. chances are. But you do also have another huge main character, which is Ryu, which yes. I found out when working with you that what? that is how you pronounce it what? from Ryu, Street yes. Fighter. So we can just ah, put that. So which Street Fighters are you starting with? Four when wow. the, the dedicated English cast came on board. Wow! Oh man! So I'm yeah, to go play and be like, I know that voice. Yeah, yeah. and you were also in Wreck It Ralph. As Just for a little bit, yeah. Where you had a Ryu, and then the Matthews. new Nintendo, the Super Smash Brothers. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. I, did my, I did my homework, Kyle. <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah, I've been I on... didn't. I would have brought my Ryu amiibo for Kyle to sign. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've been signing a lot of those actually at cons. Oh, yeah. Man. Cool. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you. All right. <laughs> nice. I'll get you. So nice. the first episode of Super just dropped. The uh, English Funimation dub just dropped on Adult Swim. Um, it also, I think, is replaying like three more times Ooh, yeah. tonight. Um, so we will be going over that. Uh, first off, though. Wait for it. Wait for it. Are you looking for that? I don't know what I'm looking for. Yeah, do right you want to We're going to check our smartphones and look at social media. Yeah, we are. Um, yeah, you guys, let us know how you felt about it. I know a lot of people have seen it, but, you know, Ify and I were kind of talking about how we wanted to do a show that had, you know, going over the voice actors that we knew and we grew up with. You've yeah. been doing Gohan for how long now? Oh, my God. I started in 2000. Yeah, 2000. Wow. Yeah. You said, so I read your thing. You went to the Funimation compound. Like, you went to Funimation because yeah. one of your friends told you that they yeah. were hiring. Correct. Heard about open auditions. This was back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> and I was already a fan of it. You know, Dragon Ball Z started airing in the States in, like, what, 95? Yes. I want to say it was Canadian dub. That was that the Ocean the dub. Ocean yeah. dub. Then before, the first iteration of Tsunami. So I was already a fan of it, and then I went in, and I wore this this awful T-shirt with like a <laughs> uh, you know a bad not centered iron on. Yeah, and I thought I'd impress them. <laughs> And then they told me after the fact, after they hired me, I said, dude, we wrote you off instantly. Aww. It's like, yeah, yeah, we just thought you're a fanboy. You're not going to be any good at this. And I lucked out. I, I, you know, I used my knowledge as a fan to kind of help channel my passion into actually doing voiceover. So yeah. I lucked out. Yeah. We, Ify and I have talked about the very famous uh, 90s bowling t-shirts that oh, they had, oh, which are God, still great. Yeah. Like you can get them on like eBay and stuff still. Baseball jerseys, all that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. I got them somewhere in That was storage. basically how if you wanted a DBZ shirt, you got to get the bowling shirt. Dude, I want that. Like, we, uh, who sent it to us? They found their old box with like the zine where you can order all the merch, and there was like a Dragon Ball Z hockey jersey. Uh, yeah. I was like, yeah. I'd rock that right now, you know? The Z store back yeah, yeah. in the day. The Z store, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. These things were so hard to find back now. Um, that was, I guess, that was another thing. One of the first questions I wanted to ask you is like, okay. how much has that? changed like over the last couple of decades like i feel like dragon dragon ball as a franchise has grown um also voice acting i feel like has changed a lot over the decades well i know the dbz cast we've grown because you know the more you work the better you're going to get at something yeah. so we're a lot more seasoned so we're super also psyched about not just super but the Boo Saga, the final chapters of Kai. Right. Yeah, that's so, also airing tonight. That is correct. You'll hear me as Gohan in there, the great Saiyan man, if you saw the promo. So <laughs> this is a this is a rare opportunity for the cast to go back and revisit these characters that have been a part of our lives for the past decade plus and redo it. Yeah. You know, usually you go back, and this was, you know, back in 2000, everybody was was pretty rough. I'll, I'll admit. This was our first <laughs> gigs and all that. If I Kyle, look I at, Yeah, look at I the remember clip. some of those lines. Uh-huh. Uh, wait, I got one, I got one. Right. Um, and this is all out of love. It was, um, this was not you. It was, um, <laughs> um, man, he's toast. Piccolo, more like burnt toast. 
Uh, right. That was my. Uh, <laughs> and speaking of krill in it, yeah, Mondo cool, you know. Yes. And, and the like, oh, cat I, loves food. Uh, yeah, can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're alive. They're okay. I can see their parachutes. You know, like, <laughs> thanks, Tien. <laughs> um, yeah, so what, I guess what was it like, like going back and getting to be Gohan again? Well, I've been very fortunate uh, to be part of that that awesome cast of people that have been wrangled through the years th with Funimation. We've, we've obviously the gamers and the fans have embraced all the iterations of the games through the years. Yeah. So it feels like at least once a year, even before Super, even before the last two theatrical releases, we had a chance to to keep it alive. And what was really cool about it is Chris Sabat is directing, you know, he's voice of Vegeta and Piccolo and Yamcha, and, and he's directed a lot of us through most of those episodes and pretty much all the movies and everything. He's like, I can put this on autopilot. You guys know your characters. <laughs> so it's like, it's almost as if we're directing ourselves, yeah. which feels kind of cool. And, you know, brand new stuff. When you get a new storyline, it's always just like, you know, ooh, I'm at the buffet. What can I say, you know, savor tonight? And, you know, Super obviously is this brand new opportunity to take not something that's old, but something brand new or relatively new as far as, you know, Japan is concerned. And, you know, uh, fans have been chomping at the bit to, to see this brought over here as we've seen other shows brought sometimes simultaneously in mm -hmm. Japanese and English. And while that didn't happen with this property, I'm still pretty proud that we're getting it out there when we are, because yeah. obviously it's 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 a number one trending topic. It is. On it's Twitter. trending right now, you guys oh, on yeah. tr on Twitter. It's like the number one topic that yeah. everyone's talking about. So cool. Also, so also awesome. what everyone's talking about is I'm on time. Yeah, I'm on time, <laughs> y'all. Of course, come on, y'all. People, mm. I, I feel like I was maybe late, maybe once. You know, I was late once, and now it's like this big meme that everyone's like, if he's, I, come on, y'all. Y'all know I'm always on time. Okay, but also if he, you are like the Goku to my Chi Chi. Uh, I feel like I'm up here. I texted Ify, hey, yeah, uh, this is the time we start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Let, let's, I'm gonna be there. I'm good. You know? <laughs> I, I gotta mention something. I see on the chat, someone mentioned they watched the Filipino dubs. I want to say I've seen those or like some sort of Malaysian English dub. Uh -huh. It's horrible English. Oh, this man. came out on a format called uh, Video CD super pixelated and everything and they had english it was done in english but very poorly oh. interesting and you can find clips on youtube and you know that is the most hysterical version <laughs> yeah yeah i just saw like uh trending on reddit there was a uh an an english dub of uh like one of the star wars prequels but it was based on like the bad subtitles oh that yeah could, like and I was like, that can be a new, like, I'll watch a whole episode of DBZ with bad dubs, like, your face, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, that was another thing. So, like, you know, it was airing. So Super did come over here, mm -hmm. um, but largely through fan set, like illegal fan right, subs, which right. I understand, like, to some extent, if that's. Uh, kind of like, you know, if you want to stay up with it, but also you're at the mercy of these fans subbing it. That's so true. So there are elements when it's like, did he really say that? And it's like, no, that actually is, is incorrect. You right, know? right. I remember this moment in uh, the other world tournament part, uh, we had PyCon, which I also voiced. Uh, and he, uh, has this scene in one of the movies, Fusion Reborn, where he's like cussing at these, these crystal things. And in subtitles, they were just going nuts with <laughs> F-bombs. And it's like, there's no way he's actually saying this yeah. stuff. Yeah. So he's like, how come you dumbed it down? did not write this in there. Oh yeah. Fan subs, they, they go all out. They're like, but you like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm V-Dog. Like he never called himself V-Dog. I, I do love the fact that Funimation offered like so this was you know a decade or so ago yeah. when they allowed for the unedited version yeah. because a lot of times people will be I just want to you know speak up as a fan that a lot of times people will be like well it's it's edited down I'm like y'all that's for Toonami okay like that's because it legally has to be in order for it to air but then Funimation also offers um, the subtitled a lot of times on the DVDs it would have both the dubbed and subbed and the dubbed unedited Yeah. so I know because there'd be times um, I forgot what which, which movie it was, but he'd be like, Goku, you dumbass. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I love this. <laughs> and it's like for the first time, they didn't have to digitally paint out all the blood. And right, I noticed right, as right. I was redubbing those early episodes, I was like, this show is really violent. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I love the fact that they gave they gave that to fans. I feel like there's there's a wide uh a wide variety. Um Yeah, I noticed a couple of people in chat said they wanted uh to wait 
for the dub so they can hear your Gohan and that's it's not awesome. the same without. And I feel, and, you, and, you know, just for people who don't know, that's kind of what I did. Like I, I heard Super was out. We had a little insider info from a Funimation friend of ours that uh, the dub was coming. Mm-hmm. So then I just like immediately shut down. I was like, all right, I'm not going to watch any Super till it comes. And I, I just thought it was going to be on the Funimation app. And then they were like, it's Toonami. I was like, all right, I'm let's really go. Happy it's they... about to go down. Uh, Danny, however, couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Wait, no, I couldn't live. Couldn't wait a, hey, a hang damn on. I live. Second. Just, no, I feel like, mm, like, uh, I feel like when you live in the Dragon Ball community, you're yeah. going to see spoilers. Like, you're oh, sure. going to see what happened, especially some of the chat rooms we're in. Ify and oh, yeah. I are in a, we're in a chat room I created, which you're welcome to join. Okay. <laughs> on, on, on Twitter, it's um, it's supposed to be like a coffee shop. It's called the Senzu Bean. Um, and, That's genius. And it's where we can like argue about our favorite character. We share a lot of memes. Yeah. Dragon Ball is the best. Like I feel like they have the best memes ever. Right. Oh, Dragon Ball do. memes are so oh, hilarious. Man. Please send them my way. I can never get enough of them. <laughs> um. Yeah, so anyway, so I feel like I am up to date because of being in the community. You you already know who's coming back this season, oh, yeah. who dies, who, you know. I got that, but I'm like, I'm, I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to get these spoilers, but I'm going to hear the voices that I want to hear. You know, <laughs> I hear you. But, hear like, ya. it's cool. Uh, yeah, someone pointed out Dragon Ball is also coming back to Toonami. Like, Dragon, the Dragon Ball universe is just, like, back and better than ever. Like, I recently just got a uh, Billionaire Boys Club DBZ mashup uh, for my buddy Kyle in New York. Well, you He's do have one. this. Oh, yeah. This is, this <laughs> is oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, so, and it has, uh, you know, Goku throwing up Star Trek and then it's, it's so clean. And I like, I like, I'm getting that DBZ merch that I always wanted. I, I posted a, uh, <laughs> a picture of like my outfit in the streetwear subreddit. Cause you know, you know, I dress well. Uh, <laughs> um, and they're like, Oh, do you, I guess you like DBZ because I did it in front of my like I have these uh, twin paintings uh, by uh, this artist named Marcus Allen who did uh, both boos as Tupac and Biggie and he did kid (laughs) uh, chubby boo as Biggie and it's so clean it's like one of my favorite pieces so i'm gonna i'm gonna be dbz'd up well i see dragon ball now in like a ton of pop culture like rappers talk about it you know freaking we were at the one piece premiere the other night and jamie lee curtis was there like taking pictures and stuff and um i I feel like i see it everywhere it has taken over i I feel like when you're aware of it i see it at best buy someone's wearing like a majin boo sweatshirt i see like in the target parking lot there will be like a capsule corp decal on the back of or 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 walk into hot topic now that retro oh, yeah. is so in yeah. <laughs> you know the millennials they were little kids in, in the first iteration of Toonami, oh, yeah. and now they're growing up and now they're consumers ready to spend money and That's so true as much as i would make fun of hot topic it is the place to go for oh, anime yeah. they, gear. they stepped it up they got they got everything i need they got the anime gear they got the wrestling gear i was like c- and wrestling is another thing that it's huge with uh anime too oh yeah like new day uh, coming totally. out you know in all saiyan gear and absolutely stuff. Yeah. Well, Booyos. I mean, if you watch <laughs> if if you watch wrestling, you're like, oh, this is anime, you know, it especially is. like peak DBZ. You have all this like conversation uh before the fight, and then the fight starts, and then you're going, you're flying from ropes and going crazy, you know. Maybe we'll get Kaniku Man back, you know? I feel like the Ginyu Force was like peak wrestling Dragon Ball. Oh yeah. Oh man, they were so clean. I loved them. Um, so I did want to talk about Dragon Ball Super episode one. Y'all just watched it. You probably have seen it. Um, but if you waited to see it like Iffy, today it dropped on Adult Swim, the dub. Um, so this takes place six months after the big fight with Majin Buu. Um, if you guys remember, Shenron has wiped the memories of everyone about Buu, except for, I guess, Mr. Satan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, which is in there. Um, we are introduced to Goku as a farmer. Um, a radish farmer. So I feel like that's like a pun on radish. Yeah, yeah. I see what they did there. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Ify, I know that you're a big uh, supporter, proponent of Goku. You yeah, think that he Goku gets a head. lot of, you get, he gets a lot of criticism for not being the best dad and husband. I so mean, he has he, settled down. I mean, trust me. I already have it planned out. Once my daughter turns four, I'll be killed by my brother. <laughs> I'm going to come back. You're going you're gonna to have to wish me back. That's up to you. You got to do that. If you fail, that's your fault. I, I, You know, I'm doing my part. I'm going to die, but you have to get me back. When I come back, I'm going to save all y'all. And, you know, I, I have it planned out. There's stages. 
You know, I'm, I'm already knitting together a nice little hat for with a Dragon Ball on top. <laughs> so I just have to ask you, Kyle. Uh, so we see Goku being a husband. Mm-hmm. Um, you are the voice of Gohan. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Somebody actually asked me to ask you this. Um, who is more of a father figure, Goku or Piccolo? Man. Oh, putting God. you on the spot. That's episode seriously, one. seriously putting him on the spot. Well, this is being uploaded to YouTube, so I just want you to be aware there might be comments (laughs) for what you. Hey, can you say you love your two dads? Can you can you (laughs) say that there's equal love between? Well, this dad taught me how to fight, and this dad, well, he wasn't there, but he still loves me. Um, did you see somebody tweeted a meme and it was like, happy Father's Day, and it was go on and Piccolo. Oh, all all that hate. I mean, who told Piccolo to do that? Because Piccolo a hater. He was a mad <laughs> hater. Well, he was a mad hater at the time. And then he was like, yeah, I'm at My school. two dads. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like the majority of the chat is saying Piccolo. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, 100%. Wow. Piccolo, 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 Piccolo. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Um, Yeah, so we might have our answer. I um, <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm always, si- I'm always the Vegeta stuck around and stayed. Well, uh, hey, you know, there's that balance between do you take care of your family or do you take care of the planet? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Little things. Well, you know Goku what? is everybody's daddy, okay? He's everybody's daddy. So. <laughs> no, okay, so Akira Toriyama did come out kind of, you know, not that long ago in an interview, and he said that Goku, this was a good point he made, Goku never actually wanted to be married like he was kind of tricked into being married Ooh, so he he never really intended to have kids so he is the best dad that he can be for someone that had no idea he was going to be married and be a dad like that was never in his he always just wanted to fight yeah and so some people are like is it really his fault that he's not the best husband of chi chi when she's the one that tricked him that's true. You could you could argue to, to get into the whole psychology thing of cognitive behavior therapy that <laughs> that people do the best they can given the tools they have. Yeah, yeah. You know how they were raised themselves, or maybe just naivete, or or just you know lack of experience or whatnot. They do the best they can with what they have. Yeah. I mean, uh, hey, I look at Goku just like Denzel Washington's character in Fences. You know, he's like, he, uh, as a matter of fact, if anybody who has skills, I want you to, I want you to redo that monologue with Denzel Washington and have it be Goku telling uh, Gohan, "Is like, do I like you? Do I put food on your table? Do I put clothes on your back? Do I die every five episodes?" <laughs> I don't got to like you. I got to take care of you because that's my job as a man. <laughs> oh, okay. I do I do want to say, so Chum Chum Jim said Goku never had a dad. So mm. the wilderness mm. was good. I don't know. He had Grandpa Gohan. So that's, that's true. Man. That's uh, but a lot of people do are a lot of people are bringing up the fact that Gohan was a good dad to Pan, just you know, despite Mm -hmm. his dad. Um, so so also in this episode, we had our introduction to Lord Beerus or our official introduction to Lord Beerus, um, who is an Egyptian cat like god. Um, I guess Akira originally made corn, if you guys remember corn from Dragon Ball Z, um, that was originally made after his cat, um, who he drew with his eye, like he said it was his sleeping cat, and that's why corn was drawn that way. And then I guess Beerus is based off of his current cat. Oh wow. So uh so if you ever see a cat in Dragon Ball, it's probably one of Akira's pets. That eats his, anything that and eats everything. Any, that eats anything and everything. And destroys worlds by blinking. Yeah, so he might be our strongest bad, our big bad that we've ever had. I'm thinking so, yeah. Because he can literally tap something and cut a planet in half. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like this is, I feel like that made up for the fact that this episode didn't really have a lot of action. Um, You know, it kind of was more of what we would call a filler episode. Right. But y'all know me, like, I love filler episodes because I was a kid when I was 12 writing fan fiction about, like, I wanted to see their personal lives. Yeah. Like, I wanted to know what was, like, the DMV episode of Dragon Ball Z, one of my favorite episodes. Like, I want to know what they're doing in their off time when they're not fighting. Yeah, you you wanted to get more more fuel for your fanfics. You yeah, wanted more yeah, exactly. for your setup for your Vegeta, Danny, Saiyan no, relationship. No, no, but, but one of the things that I was telling you guys before is that I feel like there were a lot of fanfics if you guys remember in um the right before the Boo saga, Vegeta and um 
Vegeta pr promised Trunks that if he punched him, he would take him to the amusement park. So that that is uh, something that a lot of fanfics I feel like were written about. And then a curatorium was like, I feel you. I'll take this. I feel you. There's a question. I'm going to jump ahead because I think it's a really good question for a specific reason, um, which, Danny, you might have already asked. And I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm all over the place. Anyway, uh, there's a question. How have you seen the fandom t change? Oh, yeah. Because that's cool because you're like, you were like down in anime when it was like old school, when it was like the basement of high school, when Japan club was really just anime club uh, <laughs> and, and anime club. My school had Japan club and anime club and you watch anime in both of them. They finessed just an excuse to watch anime on school hours. But like, so, so there was that like old school nerddom when it was when like it wasn't as cool, and now it has like I mean a streetwear company is making like nerd gear for you know Lil Yachty and shit to wear. So how has that been for you to watch both sides and see the change? It's pretty amazing because uh, the con community, of course, has grown right. and blossomed. Yeah. Oh yeah, and now it, it it's like a, it's a mashup: the pop culture Comic Con type shows. You see a lot of anime cosplayers and vice versa. A lot of Superman, Batman and Deadpool walking around an anime con. So that's like there's there's cross pollination, which I think is awesome. I yeah. think it's like, hey, we're all nerdy about something. Some people are nerdy about sports. So they watch the, you know, the Super Bowl and all that. Oh, yeah. you know, I'm nerdy about movies and sci fi and, you know, and, and all that stuff. So, you know, I've seen the. Uh, I've seen, you know, not only cons grow, but the attendees grow and then they're they're raising their kids on, yeah. on this. And it's actually cool now in culture to be a nerd. I mean, yeah. there's always the bullies and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. But I mean, now there's less of a stigma, which mm -hmm. I think is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and to go back to just like seeing the, the con, it is interesting seeing it grow, you know, the good and the bad. Now it's like even harder to get into a con because you have just – so many people going and like you you have just media giants showing up now oh, but true, like yeah. in the end like it's all like it's a double-edged sword because yeah it's hard to get in yeah you know some people are mad that the media giants are like buttoning, in but now the media giants are paying our like creators that we like and giving them bucks to make nerdy stuff so you know i'm, I'm stoked but it is interesting to watch how it changed you know I do want to say we had um, one of our viewers said, going off of what Kyle said, I wish it was perfectly normal for people to get together at bars to talk about the latest episode of Nerdy Things. Like that sport seemed to still hold a much higher priority, though. Ooh, I so here's a cool thing uh, that fits in perfectly with it. So I'm like really into esports. Like I kind of fell out of following because it moves so fast. Also, like I lost all my money when I bet skins uh, on. Uh, on uh, CSGO, so I kind of like took a step back for a bit. Son of a bitch, man. I'm telling you, some of these matches, you, th you, I mean, it's like a high class team. You're like, there's no way I'm going to bet all my skins on this shit. And then like, it's like a clutch win. I mean, by the way, ESL and their like scrims are so trash because like they're running on their own compute. Anyway, uh, so like there was a group that got together and, um, and they, and they actually would pay these sports bars to put League of Legends games on all the screens. And, uh, and like, it was so dope because it was like, we were all like nerds, but like, we were basically using the sports bar for esports. And we were like cheering <laughs> and getting like, and it was funny seeing the normals come in. It was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's like, nah, come in. I'm going to teach you about some uh, MOBAs, baby. Uh, and it was it was it was amazing to see that. I was like, this is what the future can be. I have a question. Um, Kyle, do you are you still are you still I'm sorry. I'm all over the place today. Are you still buying um, things with your characters like face on it? Are you still oh, buying? Yeah. Are you? Oh, yeah. yeah you I, haven't I, like I maxed the, out after 20 years. I troll the dealers rooms at cons and okay. I'll say, oh, I don't have that version of that figure or that plushie. Or... Is your is your place just literally like art of it's, uh... Uh, it's boxes and boxes of con badges, fan art plushies some of them custom made some of them you know i've even have a, a custom ox king Can hat you, oh Ooh. shit yeah, oh yeah that's yeah. right you're also ox I'm, king. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, um, that's right i'd be that you know people say do you cosplay and i was like no but if i want to just be really lazy yeah, i'll put, put on a on pair of shades hat. and the and the hat like oh gigi's getting married <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so what is the, I know, like I read your frequently asked questions, by oh, the good. way, good, good. um, which I highly recommend. So a lot of questions I know that you get are, um, like, how do I get into voice acting? How did you get into voice acting? And I love that if you guys go to Kyle's website, it is a really very honest. I feel like it's brutally honest about the industry. Cause a lot of people Thank think you. like, Oh, if I just do silly voices, I'm a voice actor. Mm -hmm. And you're like, no, this is something that takes years of dedication, rejection, not stable income. I feel like this is really negative now, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, the truth. Uh, it, it's, it's totally true. And people deserve to know the truth. Right, you don't want right. to sugarcoat it. And um, just like anything in life, anything worth having is worth fighting for. You know, if it's just handed to you, you're not going to appreciate it. Yeah. You know? right. And when you work for it and you see some sort of return on that investment, whether it's taking acting classes and actually getting cast or just having um, access to auditions that you didn't have before, every little step is uh, uh, successful. And if you find that you're not really cut out for it, at least you tried. Right. It's better wondering. Hey, maybe I'm not cut out for it as opposed to, I wonder what if, you know? Right. I did want to know, um, like, <laughs> this wasn't on your frequently asked question, so I'm going to ask. Okay. What is, like, the most... What is like the most common lines that you're asked to like do? Do fans come up to you and like, can you do this line? Oh yeah, totally. They want to hear. They want to hear Gohan. You like fight you? No, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you get any we, like? By the way, I just want to point out that we both like like fan girl giggle we like. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, but it's neck and neck. I was one of the narrators, too, so I got a lot of next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yes. Oh, that, oh my gosh, that. that voice is Iconic. like defined. Yeah, it's so, when you hear it, also, it, it also was like sometimes the most disappointing voice because you're like, oh, they're about to fight, and then that voice creeps in. Yeah, like, and then it's over. Right, <laughs> right, yes, it would be like they're they're getting up, and they're gearing up, and they're ready, and then all of a sudden you hear your voice, and it's like, next time. <laughs> like, Think about heck? it. Who is the most? character a powerful character in the dragon yeah. ball universe the narrator because he can start and stop you all do. of it <laughs> oh man yes are there so what about like i'm sorry i don't want to like fangirl can you do a great can you do a great same everyone's talking about great salmon can you do a great salmon oh line? man i wish i had the lines i could just totally do the rap like the chat room's asking oh man yeah. wow they're there they are in on the rap I'm trying to think yeah. of something that you've said i know you'll be able to see it on the final chapters of the uh, okay of so there Kai. you go so we can plug your other show you can go and see it tonight that's right citizens i'm yeah. the great salmon <laughs> Um, I know that I wanted to get through all of, we have like a bunch of viewer questions oh, and great. my personal question. Oh yeah. So I, my, my personal question. Oh my. Um, <laughs> oh yes. This oh. is something that's really important to me and that we, I feel like Ify and I have debated quite a bit on mm. our show with guests. Do you feel like there will ever be a real Dragon Ball Z, um, live action film? Do you feel like that's possible? Do you want to see something like that? I actually don't. And <laughs> While there is a lot of hatred on Dragon Ball Evolution, itself as a film is not the worst thing ever made, but it is an awful adaptation <laughs> of the source material. I personally think anime should just stay anime because very rarely can someone say, oh, the live action is so much better. Right. Yeah. You know, usually the people who love Harry Potter say, oh, the books are so much better. That, that's like, true. Yeah. There's a lesson to be garnered from this. Yeah, I guess that's true. I've always been one because I'm like, look at. If you could get even like Michael Bay uh, involved in the the fireballs and mm -hmm. stuff, I feel like, you know, with the right studio that actually cares, um, mind you, that actually has, you know, um, that is invested in it, that it could be something great. Yeah. I think I just like as a fangirl want to see it. And um, it. Yeah. And it's not just a matter of like whitewashing the cast or not, because if you had all Asians in Dragon Ball Evolution, the script would still be terrible. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. Oh yeah, that was that was. Yeah, it's just part of a bigger just part. I I feel like the worst part was when he was like, "I've never seen Dragon Ball." I was like, "Don't I do know. that! Don't do that!" I like even when the fact that Tim Burton was like, "I've never uh, read Batman." Like that's ruined that Batman movie really? for me. It ruined it for me. Yeah, he was he he came out and he was like, "I've never read a Batman," and 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 he made a whole movie. You know what? But I feel like that's the argument that people have with the Simpsons is that like, um, oh, these got now the writers are such big fans that the writers are now people that grew up with the Simpsons. Yeah. So. So they have like a different, so the writing isn't the same. And I feel like that's yeah. the critique a lot of times is like when you're an Uber fan, mm -hmm. sometimes that can also backfire. 
Right, and ultimately the bean counters are the studios, and the studios have the final say, regardless of how passionate. Because, you know, screenplays for these live-action movies, they go through so many drafts, and what ends up on the screen is rarely what the writer originally intended. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh I I wanted to make sure that we've finished getting through the whole episode, Um, (laughs) since this is an after show. Um, so we had Hercule who offered a hundred million Zenny or he got a hundred million Zenny and offered it to Goku. Um, if y'all remember, Hercule's kind of been taking credit for a lot yeah. of the Z fighters works. Um, we also had Trunks and Goten team up Trunks and Goten teaming up on this, uh, on this episode to get a gift for Videl, which I thought was adorable. Um, also is really reminiscent for me of Dragon Ball. Like it kind of went back to like. This this kind of like filler episode where they're fighting a monster like a snake and they're, you know, getting into trouble here. And like it was adorable. And I love the fact that they didn't go. They didn't throw all their cards on the table with the episode. They didn't care that it's a filler episode, like an introductory episode. They didn't like I mean, Goku went Super Saiyan once, you know, but they didn't like just throw everything at it. Yeah. So I liked that. Uh, aspect of it. They didn't cash all their chips in, is what I wrote. <laughs> they didn't cash them chips in. Um, I do want to talk about your wardrobe in this, Kyle. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> um, I, uh. So you have your professor look. You also yeah. have your very popular um, 70s green uh, gym teacher tracksuit outfit. <laughs> Stud. Studly. It looks like you're going to be checking someone for scoliosis or something. Right? <laughs> Oh, oh, the pain. Have you have you well, seen anyone cosplaying as that? I have. Oh, you have? I um, have. A very lazy cosplay, <laughs> in my opinion. I mean, the tracksuit makes sense. You know, he had a stellar rap career. Now he's like, he's like, I'm going to go the run DMC route, you know? I love how totally. Gohan is like, he just does it. His outfits are like Bulma's. Gohan is like a male Bulma. Bulma has like these iconic outfits and That's Gohan does true. too. That is true. Um, I'm hoping that things will, will change i know that in <laughs> japanese the show is what episode 70? 74 i think 75 we've got a while to see now i to avoid spoilers territory and all that i don't know where gohan's going you know uh outfit wise mm-hmm. much less story wise story wise <laughs> or, yeah so i feel like that's another critique we sometimes see with gohan i guess how do you feel about his development as someone that gets to voice him um, you know, I'm a little biased because, of course, I want to see you know him become the most powerful right. Saiyan yes. of all. And well, you're not the only one. A lot of people want to see him well, like that. I felt like it was that was what was teased to us. It was like he's gonna be even stronger. He's than the his next father. Goku. Yeah, he's taking. And Goku's I felt place. like Akira felt that and was like, oh, I got switched up. I don't want you guys to. <laughs> To yeah, it's like, this. oh, we have plans for Gohan. <laughs> so, but but I just but I mm, you know, sad face. I mean, if, if if anything I learned Gohan taught me school is whack, man. Just <laughs> just keep fighting. Just keep stay out of school, keep fighting, get strong, you know. I've had people on social media say that why do you, why are you pushing for Gohan to get in the fight, man? He's a family man now. It's like <laughs> what? Come on. You're on a fighting show. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Uh, I think Pan might end up being stronger than him. Um, Don't worry, he's going to learn from his dad. He's going to abandon that family. He's going to get strong and I, die. God. I will say that, like, I feel it gears it up for a big surprise. That I'm if a, if Akira did want Gohan to show up, and, and you know when Gohan shows up, it's going to be like, game yeah. over. Right. Game over. Because we all know that he has that inside of him. I feel like it's probably because he needs something to be ch- triggered yeah you know like most saiyans need to be triggered to to kind of unleash that inner badness in them i know i yeah I, you, you you saw the wheels going in my head um, I'm make a dumb joke <laughs> so i wanted to do a quick um word association game with you kyle if oh I can. my okay all right, um, all right just the first word that comes to your mind okay um and if you can throw some in here, if okay. you can think of them too. Okay, um, Comic Con. Nerds. <laughs> Which I am one, so I'm not calling you guys nerds in a bad way. <laughs> too late. The pitchforks are <laughs> out. The pitchforks are out. It's done. <laughs> um, Ryu. Strength. Okay. Dragon Ball GT. Skip. <laughs> 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 you heard it here. Um, this is a safe space, y'all. Okay, 
<laughs> this is a safe nerd space for everyone. Um, Piccolo. Green. Okay. Goku. Hungry. Okay. Chi Chi. This is the first word, <laughs> Kyle. I know you're thinking. <laughs> He doesn't want to say his first thought. Boobies. <laughs> okay. Yamcha. Baseball. Okay. Um, and, and Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> Skip. Skip. <laughs> very, um, very quietly. Um, Ify, did you have any that you wanted to throw in? Actually, Ify, I'm going to... I, can I do the same for you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Ooh, okay. I'm going to nice. put him on the spot. You ready? Okay, yeah. Comic Con. Oh man, parties. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, Ryu. Oh, you're weak. You're a noob. You're a noob at Street Fighter. Oh no, Dragon Ball GT. Mm, I, I like that mustache. <laughs> These are one word. <laughs> Pic <laughs> Piccolo. Always been black. Oh god, Goku. Best, I don't. Best ever. Oh, best ever. Okay. Be um, Chi Chi. Same thing. I love her. That's uh, my wife. Chi Chi. Yamcha. Mm, dead. Starwin Amada said for Yamcha, I would have said disappointment. <laughs> um, Dragon Ball Evolution. Mm, shouldn't, mm, that's it. Mm. 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 Okay. So mm. one of the questions someone asked, and I feel like we, we get this question a lot, is like if, you're, if you've never seen Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, any of them, where should you start? Mm. Well, I mean, if you're a hardcore fan, you're probably going to say, all right, you don't necessarily need to start with Dragon Ball, but it's interesting to see the evolution, not, no, no, <laughs> not talking about the film now, the evolution of characters, like seeing them literally as kids growing up, and then they start a family, and then you see their right, kids right, and right. all that. That's something that I wasn't used to seeing in a lot of cartoons and in anime, the titles before the word existed. When I was growing up in the 70s, like with Speed Racer, you never saw that. Or like if you watch Charlie Brown and The Simpsons, everyone stays the same age. But this is actually a progression. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not just a genre type thing where Dragon Ball is a little more comedy focused. And Z really stuck the, struck the pulse because of action, you know. And then, and then <laughs> <laughs> the fans spoke very loudly. And here we are today with. Super. I feel like, you know, what we've been telling people is Kai, which is great yeah. that you do have the final chapters coming out tonight because, you know, a lot of people are like, well, they cut out the filler. And, and I'm like, that is honestly, if I'm trying to introduce yeah. Dragon Ball to my adult friends, they're not going to they're not going to yeah, sit it's... around and watch Goku at the DMV. They're not going to watch Gohan like going and, and uh, saving a robot underwater like they don't want to. It, it, You know, Kai, I feel like was perfect. You're smiling. Do you agree or do you disagree? I, I'm looking at, at, at uh, I disagree with Kyle. Dragon Ball is the best place to start. It's like, that well. is what you, well, I, you, you kind of, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Everyone is, you're, you're allowed to have your own opinion there. Yeah, but I feel like Kai was great because it, you know, cut it, cut it, cut it down. Kai is great for the short attention span audience. Which is today. Yeah, well, yeah. But then they come back and say, well, but so this voice and this voice and this voice are different. It's like, well. Fans can always find something to bitch yeah. about. I mean, uh, really? Oh true. man, I have a. Uh, I think we had her on the uh, the Krillinit podcast. Vanessa and my brother both work for Hulu, uh -huh. and and they work in customer service. And they say the the number one calls they get are from am uh, anime fans being like, "You got this dub wrong, or you got these subs wrong," and they're like correcting Hulu. So they're like calling up like the man and being like, "Look." I'm watching the animes. <laughs> the animes ain't to my standard, you know? I feel like, uh, yeah, Vanessa, our friend at Hulu, said there's no one who will catch a mistake quicker than an anime fan. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's cool seeing. What's up, Geekdom? Uh, that's a buddy of ours. Oh, He's, yeah. Hey. Yeah, uh, we, got, we got lots of people in here. Uh, also, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, feel free to shoot questions out as we go through this segment as well. So yeah. we can get your questions <clears throat> in. Uh, I promise I'll like, you know, log them into my head and then ask you what you said later. Uh, <laughs> what's the name of the narrator from Kai? I figured he would return. Oh, yeah. Well, from Kai, uh, that is Doc Morgan, oh. uh, a Dallas DJ. Shout out to Doc. I, I actually I used to listen to him he, uh, on Dallas radio oh, growing up. Speaking of which, uh, 
Uh, not to cut you off, I was just in Dallas. I got to experience Dallas for the first time. Uh, nice. Good buddy, I don't know if he's in the chat. Uh, Paul, you know, I I just did a random because I had a twelve hour layover cool. in Dallas, and I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see the city. Good. And he lived out there. He was like, All right, I got you. And we went. We tried to get some barbecue. It was closed. It, like it was the Aww. worst time for a layover because it was like Sunday, New Year's Day. But I did get some text mess. I went to like I forget the name of it. It's like a chain though, like Chewies. Yeah, Chewies. Hell yeah, dude. We had <laughs> I also Chewies. grew, I also spent yeah, like yeah. a decade in Texas. So. Yeah. Big old uh, pina colada, big old burrito. <laughs> I, uh-huh. was, I, was, I was ready. You know, it was, it was good. I went to Gold's Gym first. Gold's Gym Dallas. What's up? Thanks for, you know, letting me do it out there. And then I uh, went to Chewies mm-hmm. and had two pina coladas and a burrito. And then we went to this like super big like comic book shop. And uh, and then we went to uh, what's the Joe something records, you know, the record store. Well, there's several. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, did the re- the record store, you know, one of them record stores. You got how many record stores you got out there? Way too many. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no. My favorite one is Bill's Records. So oh, that's nice. close to downtown. OK, close I'm, to downtown. I'm going to check out Bill's next time. You heard yeah, me yeah. first. Mm hmm. We all love the vinyl, man. It's totally hipster, man. <laughs> um, Ian, our our mutual friend, told me to ask you about the special pair of shoes that you got. Because I wanted to ask you if you've gotten any crazy gifts from fans. Yeah, or I should crazy... have brought them to show them off. But oh. if people who come to the cons to see me, I usually wear these Vans that were customized by uh, uh, an artist that I found on Instagram that Kara Edwards, who does Videl and, and oh, Goten, yeah. mm-hmm. first uh, commissioned for a pair of shoes. And um, he did Gohan for me, and they're awesome, and they're one of a kind. And so um, cool. search Google, you'll see Kyle Abair and custom Gohan shoes. You'll probably be able to find it. There's a, there. I put some pictures on my Instagram before, and and Twitter, and people see that. It's like nice shoes. It's like thanks. Have you gotten any like weird gifts that we or weird requests? Weird requests or weird <sighs> gift or weird sign? Have you had to sign anything weird? Well. You know, you, you sign body parts sometimes. I, 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 there, there was one guy, he was dressed as my character from Gurren Lagann, Kamina, Whoa, who hold is hold usually... Hold I'm a, a, I'm a not... Probably, wait, what? Yes. <laughs> wait, what? Who the hell do you think I am? See, the Saiyan man sounds like Kamina because he is. Oh, man, that's... that's Mind blown. I, I, I tell people, like, uh, Gurren Lagann is the best anime ever made. I've... What are you doing on this show? I, mean, I <laughs> love heck? I love DBZ. I have DBZ... it tattooed on my body. I know. I he... love it. It's definitely one of my top, but I still think Goran Langan, it mm. just had everything. It had sword fights, giant robots, boobs, all everything you need. We yeah. are accepting applications for another Dragon Ball <laughs> oh, Super host. Oh, man. You, the hate is real. I'm, come on. Uh, Look spe- what happened here. Um, yeah, yeah, so but anyways, I signed the cosplayer. Football. He was topless. I'm not gonna sweat anybody, Dan. Look, if you if you want me to sign your boobs, ladies, I don't. You know, I'm not gonna shame you because you're gonna take a bath later. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Danny. Come. come R.I.P. Our audio. So if there's anything you've <laughs> ever wanted to say out loud that you Fuck! <laughs> audio is dead. Uh, it's oh, fixed. Fixed. Never it's mind fixed. anything we just, just said. Yeah, I was just getting ready to just shout out my social security number. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Okay, I have oh. a quick, I wanted to do and see how many of these you can get, not to put you on the spot, um, never, but I'm putting never. you on the spot. And these are okay. relatively, because they're just supposed to go really quick and fast. So we're going right. to see how quick we can get through these trivia questions about your character. Okay. Okay. Who was Gohan named after? <laughs> Grandpa. Okay. Uh, Gohan defeated Cell using what attack? I don't know. Iffy? Chat? I have all the answers, but I, okay, that's fine. What is the name of Gohan's school? It was a Kamehameha, by the way. Orange Star. Orange Star. Hi. Yeah. After turning Super Saiyan, his high school classmates referred to Gohan as what? A dork? No. <laughs> A gold fighter, but also a dork. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, On the Supreme Kai planet, Gohan's hidden power is finally unlocked by who? 
that's okay. This is like 20 years old. Oh, no. Um, old Kai, <laughs> which Dragon Ball? People are going to be like, you're not allowed to voice him ever again, even I though know. you voice, um, even though you voice every anime character and have to know everything about anime. Um, red stripped. Which drag? I hate when people do this to me, too, about yeah. Dragon Ball, because I'm always like, I know it, but y'all, it's been 20 years. Mm. Which Dragon Ball sits on young Gohan's hat? Ooh. The fourth, the four ball. star ball, yeah. and then this is just a true or false. Piccolo is only four years older than Gohan. True or false? I, I know that's like true. Maybe? True, yeah. I don't know. Someone, um, someone, look into that for uh, us. Big Geekdom will give us the answer. Forced. And oh yeah, everyone true. said. Yeah, he knows. Well, everything. yeah, Namekians probably age at a different rate. Here they are from a different world. Um. Ooh. Uh, so I wanted to ask Kyle a question that was asked earlier. I caught, uh, uh, what was the difference behind the scenes for, between Kai and super like recording? Uh, the recording process is, is really the same all across, regardless of what you're recording for anime dubs. It's one actor at a time. We sit there and cue the footage up. We have the script either on its own screen or printed out in front of us, or maybe on an iPad nowadays. Yay. Save the trees. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we'll preview each scene. We'll do one, like if I have multiple characters, tend to have multiple characters. So we'll queue it up and do one character at a time in order. Preview each line in Japanese. And, you know, to get the tone and the context and everything. I see the line right before I read it. And then we get the, 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 the starting gun, you know, beep, beep, beep. Fourth imaginary beep. That's where you say your line. If we do it in one take, great. If not, we'll sit there and finagle until the director's ready to go to the to the next take. So it's not like we sit there and watch it as if we're watching a movie or anything. Uh, time is money. So we literally just, uh, we get the Cliff's Notes version, the really short version from, you know, I show up at the session. I don't even know what I'm recording. You know, what happens today? I have no idea. I just know I have to be there at such and such time. Director catches me up in maybe 30 seconds or so. Says, in this episode, go on's going to do this. I'm like, all right, cool. So you it. have to do multiple characters in I like have. a day? Yeah, yeah. I get a lot of background characters or okay. walla, which means all the all the all the people in the background that don't necessarily have names. They oh, do okay. for the script's sake, like man A, Demon C, all that stuff. I'll get uh because I have a wide range of voices, so they exploit that to the nth degree. It's like Kyle, all right, now you're gonna be an old man, now you're gonna be a little kid, now you're gonna be a demon, and now you're gonna <laughs> be like you sit there, you know, oh my god, it's coming this way. So there's you know, it's kind of funny on Dragon Ball Z in particular, you could go back years and, and see um, West Kai and PyCon, and I voiced both of them, and they're sitting there talking to each other in the same scene. <laughs> and usually people say they sound nothing alike. It's like, yes, that's all by, by, by design, no. yes. <laughs> it's like, it's like kind of, wow, for some reason, they don't sound exactly alike. Gee, yeah. I wonder. Oh, man. Yeah, I also feel that way, too, like when people, because y'all are coming back, so it would make sense that you're not going to sound exactly like you did 20 years ago or 10 years ago or something mm -hmm. like that. Well, yeah, yeah. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to hit the high notes and all the screams and everything, but I am proud to say I pulled it off. Hell yeah. Nice. Proud to say, yeah. And again, I think with the Kai dub in particular, I think I know that we as a cast are really proud of it because we've come a long way as actors since those early days right, yeah, right. of Z and to again getting to revisit and redub a show and making it you know better in our opinion and using a, a japanese faithful script you know we yeah. followed it to a t so if people have reservations about kai i mean i totally respect that and everything but you know we did the best we could with what we had i yeah. wanted to follow up on that because one of our viewer questions was <clears throat> how much do you try to match the characterization of the japanese voice actors compared to making go go on your own right that is usually a um, client driven sort of decision okay so even though the client's rarely at in the booth it's usually just the director me and the engineer the director will know what the client's looking for they'll say hey on this show you're encouraged to make it your own um or you know here listen to the japanese we want to match that sort of thing uh it just depends you know case by case basis I know that with Z, 
and and Dragon Ball, we we kind of did make it our own. I mean, if you, you pretty sound drastically different. Yeah, yeah, know, no, that's true. Wise. But I feel like that you know, because because a lot of people, when Ify and I announced that we were going to do a Dragon Ball Super after show, people were like, "Uh, we're already on episode seventy, guys." And I'm like, "Yeah, but like, it's not you know, and that's great and fantastic, and and what we've gotten to watch, but also like the voices that a lot of us grew up with." are coming back and now it's going to be airing here in the States, um, also legally. Um, and, <laughs> and, um, on Toonami, which is where I was originally introduced to it. Like, yeah. it's, to- it's so coming full circle. The fact that, you know, I, as a fangirl, like get to do the show because I used to, come up to you, you know, at Comic Con like a decade or so ago mm-hmm. and and get you guys to sign my DVDs and and do and do the voices. And so it's so exciting to to hear these voices that I grew up with, to see it on the channel that I was originally introduced to it anyways, um aside from Telemundo cuz I also checked it out on there. Um <laughs> and which also has a great uh maybe, dub. maybe we should get some of those voice actors on, mm-hmm. you know? Some of those if Telemundo super, boys. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Telemundo is <laughs> also a, a a big one um and did you write uh some of our other viewer yeah yeah someone asked what was it like going back to record mr saiyan man well with saiyan man i i honestly was kind of worried that it was not going to be in kai because oh, wow. it it's some people said oh that is a filler arc ah. and i'm like oh man because i had so much fun with saiyan man I know some people think he's the Jar Jar Binks of Z. Some of them, <laughs> some of them just hate him. They just hate him. But I love him. Really, I, love him. I feel that way about Hercule. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. That's my dude, man. Come also on. because of like young, when I was younger, I just was like, man, that's a light skinned black dude right there. He got an afro, oh, you Mr. know. He got the Hercule? swagger. Yeah. Then I guess that means Vidal would be mixed. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, my my head cannon is lit. Very diverse. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> um, we kind of covered this, but I just wanted to make sure that I asked it about super. Um, okay. How do you, so we covered kind of like your, what you want to see with the development of Gohan, but is there anything yeah. like specifically that you would like to see him accomplish mm. in super? If you could, if you could, if you were a cure. <laughs> I think Gohan should save the earth for once. I Yeah. He needs his day. I mean, you've seen Watching going back to Z, you've seen him progress from a child to a teenager and now an adult and now a dad. Um, come on, you know. Um, just... Kyle, I also feel that way about Vegeta, who oh. I feel like deserves to not have his kills always taken from him when it seems like he could clearly kill them. <laughs> um, I mean, he, yeah, he was totally able to. Uh huh. Kill Freezer, right? Mm, mm, he, was, he was totally able to, mm, you know, he was um, was totally able to kill Freezer, right? Um, I think you have like. Are a, you talking like about a, Resurrection of F? I, I think no, no. I'm talking about you know. Uh-huh. When they first well, I think Freeza. you're talking about Z because I'm talking about you got, a, you got a statue about mm-hmm. that, right? To remind you of uh, what happens when 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 Goku turns up, he has to save the day. Um, oh, okay, but um, just a counterpoint, Ify, when Goku turns up to save the day, it seems like he needs the help of power from a lot of the Earth to oh, also yeah. oh, help yeah. him. He's, he's not, he's he's not, not a Prius, you know, he's, he's, he's working on fossil fuels still, you know, <laughs> he's, my man's, my man's is a Model T Ford, uh, all in one, you know, and I love that about him. <laughs> so um kyle since we just have a couple of minutes left like can you plug any of your projects yeah, coming yeah, up cons, all... where can people see you all right well this coming weekend uh i'll be at ohio con in columbus ohio that's spelled yeah. o-h-a-y-a-o see you got the little japanese thing uh i'll be there uh let's see well i'm all over tsunami obviously yeah <laughs> you are so what are some of the other shows that people can check you out on well and some of your see. characters uh i've got some dudes on one punch man mm-hmm. i think it's saw in, that repeat yep. so uh yeah yeah pretty happy about that i've uh gosh what else Man. And I just, while you're thinking, I just want to say, like, um, that the creator of One Punch Man, you know, came out and said that uh, that Dragon Ball Z obviously influenced him a lot, which I I think a lot of times, um, you know, especially with newer anime, like, a lot of people will be like, oh, you watch Dragon Ball Z? And I'm like, y'all... Uh, this is the OG, and like Akira influenced a lot of the anime you guys see now. I mean, to be honest, right. like, you, to... 
for new anime fans to come out and like do that, it's almost if if you're like a future a little yachty fan and you're like, oh, you listen to NWA, <laughs> like like it's like, <laughs> like it's like comparison. like you can't like knock the originator even though it's not up to your par. Plus, like Akira's reach was so far, like he was doing DBZ, Chrono Trigger, uh, uh, Dragon Quest. It's like, come on, man! Like the creator of DBZ was running like H and I C of the time, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, other projects coming up, but we're usually under an NDA, so I can't. Oh, okay, no worries. Okay, all right. Non-disclosure agreement. That means they'll kill you if you, <laughs> yeah. if, you if you speak. But when when I can, and when they these projects come out, I usually you know promote the hell out of them on Twitter. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So make sure you guys are following Kyle uh, and all of us because that'll be out there. And um, we definitely are always open to like I love debating, so I feel like. You know, as much as I plug Vegeta, mm-hmm. um, you know, I'm always open to hearing y'all's opinions on um, favorite character. I guess if aside from Gohan, like who is another who who else do you, I guess, love or what other character are you buying stuff of? Um, well, I've always loved Piccolo. Piccolo was the very first character that I saw because Z was the show that made me learn how to program a VCR. Remember that? (laughs) It would flash 12 back in the day before you had to set the clock. I learned how to do that back in the day because I wanted to record it because before Toonami, Z would air at like four, five, six in the morning on Saturdays. Yes, yes. So I got my first taped episode and I watch it and it, it clipped like a few minutes, but the very first image I saw is like Piccolo fighting and then his arms gets blown off. It's like, dude. I like this a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I also love the fact that you, like, in your when I was reading your website and stuff, it was like you watched Dragon Ball before you ever got to work on it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, two birds with one stone: being a fan and then being a part of it, and then also lifelong dream to do voice acting. Yeah. in animation. And here, fast forward, like, what? I can't believe it. So, yeah, I've. Uh, since then, of the growing up stage, I've moved to uh, Los Angeles in the fall of 2005. I still work with Funimation for various shows. You can see me in like Attack on Titan, mm-hmm. Full Metal Alchemist, uh, One Piece. I've, I, I've been all over the place for various franchises through the years. Bleach, Naruto, mm-hmm. um, um, all sorts of great stuff and a lot of great game series, too. I'm very, very proud um, since I moved to L.A. and uh, I'm very, very thankful and blessed to get to do something that I love for a living. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. And we get to talk about this. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, so, yeah. I, I, do you have anything to plug, Danny, before we... Um, what do I have to plug? Uh, yeah, we are having... Ify and I are going to be on a show here. Yeah, yeah. Um, Vanquished It is going to be covering... Um, it's over the Valiant comics. We're going to be doing a role-playing game. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have Hector yeah. Navarro on it, Danielle Radford. Um, probably gonna be talking like this. I don't know what my character is yet, but he gonna talk like this. Do you this. do any role playing games? Yeah. They're like so in right now. Uh, they are. They're huge. A lot of my VO compatriots, like on yeah. Critical Role and everything. Yes. Yeah. The tabletop thing never really uh, uh, attracted me. I tried. I tried we got to get, get you in. It. Well, We're maybe. Gonna, but maybe you're I'm also like the, the busiest man ever. Yeah. As I go home tonight and play Call. Oh, of did Duty I say Radcliffe? Myself. I meant Radford. Did somebody? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If you're going to be on Vanquish, right? Are we yeah. announcing that for the first time now? Uh, We're going to be on Vanquished. Oh, yeah, 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 now yeah. you guys know it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oops. Yep. We we up in it. Sorry, Zach, if that wasn't supposed to be announced yet. Oh, Too sorry. late. Too late. We boy with yeah, and I'm be talking like this. I'll be all <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so so to wrap up this episode, yeah. um, a lot of what we would call filler. Yeah. Um, but it was okay. Yeah, no, I'm always down. Goku playing. had a new outfit. Mm-hmm. He got that uh farmer with the scarf. Why is the scarf necessary? I don't know. Because you get high, you get that neck sweat. By the way, I was at Dave and Buster's last <laughs> night. Saw a brother, saw a brother killing it in DDR. Like I was, and I was mad because I wanted to hop on, but also like it's at like DDR 47, and there's a song that I want to play. It's like it's the one where there's a hospital bed, and it goes. If, if you guys know which song I'm talking about in DDR, please let me know, because I've been trying to find it. Um, none of the DDRs I've used to use it. Anyway, just going ham, him and his buddy, like, I'm talking about playing on, like, the hardest mode, and his neck 
was sweaty, and I was like, he, he need a Goku scarf. Just the neck. Just yeah, the neck. Ju- yeah, it was just the- <laughs> not just the neck. It was real weird. Just the neck wet. Everything else bone dry. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. Okay. We also had some uh, Gohan's wardrobe changes. Well, yeah, because reasons. Yeah, he. Um, we have a uh, water that was given to Videl. Um, we saw Beerus uh, destroying half a planet and also kind of foreshadowing what will happen. And uh, yeah, I think that was a recap of uh, Mr. Satan popped in. Yeah. And uh, it was all good. I'm just waiting to see if anybody know that song. It's a, it's a <laughs> hospital bed and there's like a heartbeat. And it goes, Here, let me open my Shazam app yeah, and yeah. listen to you vocal. <laughs> um. So for grilling it, I am Danny Fernandez. Thank you so much, Kyle, for being here. Make My sure honor, you guys you. to yeah. follow Kyle because he's going to be tweeting out all the cons that he's going to be at around yeah. you guys. I'll try and do some live tweeting yeah. of the of the Super and Kai episodes. Too. Hell yeah. yeah! And catch me on at midnight next Tuesday. Oh yes, if he's uh, going to be on at midnight. All right. Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. And also, really get at me with that song. I'm trying to play it. It's it was the, it's the only song I played in high school, and I can't find it. Uh, tr- I, come on, chum chum Jim, d- dig deep. Y'all send me Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super memes because I love them. Even though when she, when you nut and she keeps sucking, like I'm okay with that too. <laughs> like the one with Cell about to blow oh, up. Man. Um, I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. good Good to be back with you fun people, all my new and old friends, Small Fry, good seeing you again, Gun Word Fist, haven't met you, but I like you, Fernatok, good to see you again, Mr. Haru, you've been holding it down, so, you know, what's up? You're nothing. Keep sucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we should go out on that. Yeah, I think we should, too. You guys, make sure to stick around because uh, we have another show coming up in 30, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. Toodles.